with the hybrid market detonating nowadays. Auto organizations are discovering increasingly approaches to fulfill client requests, from dashing roof lines to absurd power. Also, fantastic common sense to revolting extravagance. Here we have two or three hybrids that are neither the biggest nor littlest, the quickest nor most rich, and they are all the better for it. The Mercedes AMG GLC 43 is the center, somewhat energetic trim of the brand's little-ish hybrid, between the Basque GLC 300 and the Bonkers GLC 63 AMG, while the Audi SQ5 is right now the best entertainer of the Q5 line up until gossipy tidbits about a RSQ5 work out. Both of these hybrids plan to catch extravagance purchasers with satisfactory utility for a little family, liberal servings of extravagance and innovation and a trace of energy to liven up any fine parts of your commute. They're both incredible machines, however which one better catches that something exceptional the twins the donning identifications while being a down-to-earth, extravagant utility vehicle, smooth interiors. Audi rolled out a note for the improvement this age when Q5 generation moved to Mexico, however sitting in the stunning netted calves in seats you'd be unable to tell the difference. Thought they're completely control movable and steady, and you're behind a guiding wheel that is etched to welcome your hands to hold the best possible position. Virtual cockpit and the check group and MMI on the inside comfort are both instinctive to work with insignificant diversion on account of fresh, clear designs and legitimate menace. The Q5 has an extensive touchpad for entering letters or digits for calls or goals isolate from the control wheel, though the GLC has a touchpad over the parchment wheel, which makes it too simple to trigger arbitrary sources of info. The SQ5 and GLC SUV are inside an inch or two of each other in each real measurement, on while it yields better load and traveler space on paper, some way or another the GLC feels more extensive, completing a superior occupation with the front seat back plan in the second line. To permit more knee space, both completed an excellent activity of tolerating kid seats without an excessive amount of wine, in spite of the fact that the lock covers in the Audi were at first hard to evacuate. The GLC trunk is recorded at 19.4 cubic feet and the Audi 7 better at 26.8, yet they appear to be identical beneath the freight covers and the GLC has an underfloor capacity compartment in the storage compartment to the detriment of an extra tire. With regards to large stockpiling, both have a lack of entryway pockets and nearby stockpiling for your telephone. Furthermore, keys and travel mug and water bottle and different incidentals. The GLC inside is welcoming, however our analyzer was not furnished with any of the Napa Capstan. Redesigns and the Arctic cowhide parts of the seats were clearly manufactured and not too welcoming to the touch, in spite of the fact that the lively Alcantara embeds play the lively car to flawlessness. The seats are likewise control movable like the Audis, and the controlling wheel similarly simple on the hands, and a touch of punctured cowhide is a pleasant touch. You could state the simple measures have an old-school beguile, however the false carbon fiber design just appears to be somewhat mushy. In spite of the fact that the GLC Lodge is rich, and most materials and switchgear are pleasant with some certified aluminum trim and exquisite Burmester speaker grills, it's definitely not comfortable same level of the Audi General, which has more panache with its carbon fiber trim. Driving impressions any family vehicle that can hit 60 miles per hour in. Around 5 seconds is okay in my books, and the SQ5 does the deed in 5.1. The power source is a 3.0 liters V6 coercively fed by a turbo, signifying 354 horsepower and 369 pounds to foot of torque setting off to every one of the four wheels through an 8-speed program transmission. At in the first place, the transmission appeared to have that standard Audi first outfit slack off the line, yet subsequent to getting accustomed to it, I felt it just moved on control easily, and dynamic mode dial out any postponed so it can move about as quick as you'd ever need to outside of a drag strip. The transmission additionally has a sport mode, and that holds outfits longer and downshifts prior when you nudge the throttle. It's more forceful than the requirement for your normal drive, yet it's pleasant when you need to get on somewhat snappier, which is exactly what S-Line Auto ought to be. 
the transmission isn't the main framework that can be dialed up or down, with more agreeable or hyper modes accessible for the controlling, throttle, and versatile air. Suspension to suit your tests or temperament. Auto mode will change settings in view of your driving conduct, an individual can blend and match and secure your top choices. In each. In the event that you simply need to exhaust and spare gas, Echo Mode should hold fuel utilization down at around 19 miles for every gallon in the city, 24 on the throughway and 21. Generally speaking, it's a smidgen more proficient than the GLC, but on the other hand it's a reasonable piece more agreeable as an interstate cruiser and simply moving around town. The air suspension can be mellowed up to truly assuage unpleasant asphalt, and versatile journey can take a great deal of the work out of your regularly scheduled drive. Despite the fact that the SQ5 can be an impeccably tamed hybrid now and again, dialing the suspension, throttle and controlling into dynamic mode make for simply the sort of change you need from a sporty utility vehicle. The directing has recently enough haul and keeping in mind that there is still some body come in turns, and more than the GLC. It weighs right around 4,400 pounds, it feels all around adjusted and balanced, and prepared for you to get back on the throttle. Leaving corners, Quattro AWD rearranges. Control around front to back in the sport differential to work vectors from side to side, so unless you're in snow or driving like a total crazy person, you will have enough grasp to slingshot out of corners, and understeer will basically be drive or blunder. Here we have two or three hybrids that are neither the biggest nor littlest, the speediest nor most extravagant, and they are all the better for it. The Mercedes AMG GLC 43 is the center, somewhat lively trim of the brand's little-ish hybrid, between the base GLC 300 and the bonkers GLC 63 AMG, while the Audi SQ5 is as of now the best entertainer of the Q5 line up until gossipy tidbits about the RSQ5 work out as expected. Likewise see, 2018 Mercedes AMG GLC 63 S formatic plus review both of these hybrids. Intend to catch extravagance purchasers with sufficient utility for a little family, liberal servings of extravagance and innovation and a trace of energy to liven up any fun parts of your drive. They're both awesome machines, however which one better catches that something unique that procures the donning identifications while being a down-to-earth, sumptuous utility vehicle smooth interiors audi rolled out a note for the improvement this age when q5 creation moved to mexico however sitting in the lovely stitched cow hot seats you'd be unable to tell the contrast they're completely control flexible and steady and you're behind a guiding wheel that is etched to welcome your hands to grasp the correct position virtual cockpit and the check punch and MMI on the middle reassure are both instinctive to work with insignificant diversion on account of fresh, clear designs and legitimate menace. The Q5 has an expensive touchpad for entering letters or digits for calls or goals isolate from the control wheel, while the GLC has a touchpad over the parchment wheel, which makes it too simple to trigger irregular sources of info. The GLC trunk is recorded at 19.4 cubic feet and the Audi 7 better at 26.8, yet they appear to be identical beneath the load covers and the GLC has an underfloor stockpiling compartment in the storage compartment to the detriment of an extra tire. With regards to large stockpiling, both have a lack of entryway pockets and close by capacity for your telephone and keys and travel mug and water bottle and different incidentals. Likewise see, report, Audi RS Q5 will borrow the RS5's engine. The GLC inside is welcoming, however our analyzer was not furnished with any of the Napa cowhide updates and the Artico calfskin parts of the seats were clearly manufactured and not too welcoming to the touch, in spite of the fact that the lively Alcantara embeds play the energetic card to flawlessness. The seats are likewise control movable light. The Audis, and the controlling wheel similarly simple on the hands, and a touch of punctured cowhide is a pleasant touch. You could state the simple checks have an old school engage, however the fake carbon fiber design just appears to be somewhat mushy. In spite of the fact that the GLC Lodge is sumptuous, and most materials and switchgear are decent with a few authentic aluminum trim and beautiful Burmester speaker grills, it's not exactly at a similar level of the Audi General, which has more panache with its carbon fiber trim. 
2018 Audi SQ5. Driving impressions. Any family vehicle that can hit 60 miles per hour in around 5 seconds is okay in my books, and the SQ5 does the deed in 5.1. The power source is a 3.0 liters V6 forcibly fed by a turbo, signifying 354 horsepower and 369 pounds to foot of toward heading off to every one of the four wheels through an 8-speed program transmission. At to start with, the transmission appeared to have that standard Audi first equipped slack off the line, yet in the wake of getting accustomed to it, I felt it just moved on control easily, and dynamic mode dialed out any postponed so it can move about as quick as you'd ever need to outside of a drag strip. The transmission additionally has a sport mode, and that holds equips longer and downshifts prior when you go the throttle. Likewise see, Mercedes AMG debuts new 53 series of cars and they're all hybrids. It's more forceful than your requirement for your normal drive, however it's decent when you need to get on somewhat speedier, which is exactly what S-Line Auto ought to be.